is uh, an Academy Award nominated film by Christine Choi, Who Killed Vincent Chin? And we have some very important players in the entire story as it has played out and continues to play out in history. Oh, good. How about I make a five minute trailer for you so you can run around, you know, raise money without knowing that five minutes became five years. It became, instead of a five minute film, it became an 86 minute film. But I'm really glad that we reunited and, uh, well, it's grateful that I would, um, I'm a filmmaker able to document the Asian American history. It's no question, but uh, this is a wonderful movie. It, it's a great legacy to the dedication of Lily Chin to proceed for justice for her, her son. And, uh, but it's also a very interesting movie in terms of the interviews of the defendants. And so it's really a, a great watch you know, to see this movie to get both sides of the story, but we really do know who killed Vincent Chin. Your involvement in uh, this case? It started with a uh, call from Kin Yi of the Chinese Welfare Council, mm -hmm. and I was the OCA chapter president at the time, and this case appeared to be bigger than just the two individual organizations. And so just from a phone call and then a dozen people at the Golden Star meeting with Lisa Chan, the attorney, and Helen and a, a bunch of us, we moved the next meeting to Chinatown, to the hall with maybe 100 people, and then about 300 people at Ford World Headquarters, and then 2,000 people at the rally, and then a global reach after, uh, you know, we hit the papers, you know, New York Times, etc. cetera. Uh, it finally became a, a case notable worldwide. But Helen in particular, uh, the story goes uh, that uh, she saw a reporter in downtown Detroit buying a bunch of newspapers, and knowing that when reporters travel, if they can find a story, they can, it's tax deductible, Helen approached the reporter and said, are you looking for a good story? And the reporter said yes, and she turned out to be a reporter from the New York Times. Judith Cummings. Judith Cummings. I thought it was Isabel Wilkinson all these years, but I've been corrected. And, and so when after Helen told her about the story, Judith wrote about the story in the New York Times, and because Vincent could have been any East Asian, he could, they thought he was Japanese, and they blamed, at the time, you have to realize, in that period of time, the early 80s, members of Congress were beating Toyotas on the lawn of the Capitol. They were beating Toshiba radios with baseball bats, literally. And so at that time, there's very uh, powerful anti-Japanese, anti-Asian sentiment, and they blamed the Japanese for the then recession. And so um, what happened uh, at that time, that was the atmosphere, and I think what what was accomplished by with journalism, uh, and in particular Helen reached into the New York Times as a national publication, because he could have been any East Asian, it began, it, people realized it, this really was an Asian American national issue.